And uh, I just want to preach just a little bit tonight on the Lamb of God. Amen. The Lamb that taketh away the sins of the world. Amen. <laughs> And I want to kind of, your thought, oh, you probably go to 1 Peter, you're going to go to that, no? Let's go to the book of Exodus chapter 12, if you would. If you have your Bible tonight, it should be an AV 1611 King James. Right. Amen. Somebody had asked me, they said, hey, if you wasn't a King James Bible person, what would you be? And I said, it'd be a shame. Amen. So, I love this, I love this blessed old book. Amen. Yes, and uh, it'll give you wisdom. And you know what? This is the only book that will tell you that you're saved. Right. This is the only book that will confirm. It says that when you, this book says, hey, you're saved. You're accepted in the beloved. You're redeemed. You're written down in the Lamb's book of life. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. But here, let me, and, and I'll be like uh, Liz Taylor's. Sixth husband. I won't keep you long. Okay. So. <laughs> Exodus chapter 12. And the Lord spake, and Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, saying, This month shall be unto you the beginning of the months, and it shall be the first month of the year. And to you, speak unto all the congregation of Israel, saying, In the tenth day of this month, they shall take unto them every man a lamb. Keep that down. According to the house of their father, a lamb for a house. Now I want you to think, there's a lamb. Now you know what? John the Baptist said, look, the lamb of God that taketh away the sins of the world. Amen. Amen. Whose shoes I am not worthy to unlatch. But you know what? There's times, ladies and gentlemen, and let me say this, because the Lord's kind of lead me another way. Just We all get discouraged. John the Baptist, one that led the way of the Lord. And this is what he said. He was put in jail. And he said to the disciples, he said, go ask him, is he the one or do we look for another? Right. Yeah. We all get discouraged. We all, but you know what? Listen, like I said yesterday, remain faithful to the Lamb. Amen? Amen. He was faithful to us, to the cross. That's right. Amen. Not my will. He said, Lord, if there any other way, let this cup pass from me. But nonetheless, Lord, not my will, but yours. Amen. The Lamb of God. So you see here in chapter 4 that a, uh, uh, chapter 12 and verse 3, a lamb. And then in 4, if the household be too little for the Lamb, let him and his neighbor next to his house take it according to the number of souls, every man according that his eating shall take of your count for the lamb. Now let me ask you a question. It says here, the lamb. Let him and his neighbor. When's the last time you've been to your neighbor, ladies and gentlemen, and told him that Jesus saves? Come on, brother. Amen. When's the last time that you went over to your neighbor, knowing that your neighbor was lost, and you went over and gave him a track and said, listen, I just would like to tell you about the love of God. Yeah. Folks, the Bible in Luke chapter 14 says to go out in the highways and hedges and to what? Compel them, Compel them to come in. That's what we were doing today, brother. Yeah. We're compelling. We're yelling, telling, and compelling. <coughs> Amen? <Yeah. laughs> I thought they'd get him to laugh a little bit. <laughs> And this brother right here, he was a blessing, man. He stopped, talked to us, and you're the one that bought me a pop. Yeah. Got yeah. us a drink. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> I said, wow. I said, man, praise, praise the, Lord. the Lord. I'm thinking the light glint Daniel already. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> so here, he's talking about the lamb, the little lamb, the lamb. Let him and his neighbor next to his house. Take it according to the number of souls. Folks, he that went of souls is wise. That's right. That's right. Go out, and I'm going to tell you right now, to go in and you want this church and you want to grow and you want to be blessed, 
Go out and witness to your neighbor. And you say, well, I don't know the Romans road. That's okay. If you're saved, if you're redeemed, if you're accepted in the blood of them, tell them what Jesus had done for you. That's and right. And what he can do for them. Amen. That's right. Just go tell them. Jesus saved me. My sins are forgiven, forgotten forever. They're buried in the deepest sea. I am born again. Thank you, Jesus. And the only thing I had to do was believe and receive. That's Amen. right. That's a pretty awesome God. Amen? Amen. That is an awesome God when we believe and receive. Jesus said this to the Pharisees. If you believe I am not He, you shall die in your sins. Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you, if you've got anybody here that's not saved, you better believe and receive tonight and don't die in your sins. Amen. You get that old account settled tonight. Get it settled. Get it done. Get it over with. Get it settled. And I'm going to tell you, you are going to have a burden lifted off your shoulders like, and you know, there's a song, you'll never know until it happens to you. You'll never know the feeling and the joy that Jesus gives. That knowing in your heart in your heart he lives. Amen. Amen. You'll never know. Once you come to Christ by faith, without faith, in Hebrews chapter 6, it's impossible to please God. Amen? Right. But that faith, you please God when you say, God, I come to you and I repent towards you, God, and you know what? I'm a dirty, rotten sinner, and I know I'm in need of a Savior. Amen? <laughs> Amen? Amen. And I believe... Your Son, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, is the Savior of the world. And right now, I believe in Jesus. Amen. Amen. The most basic, John 3, 16, most of us should be able to quote it. For God so loved the world, He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever. Hey, folks, I'm a whosoever. Yeah. That's right. Praise Amen. 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 I'm a whosoever. Yes. I'm written down in the Lamb's book of life. That's right. Saved, redeemed. God loves me. I love Him. Amen. Nothing can separate us from the love of God. It's nothing. Now, have I been to the spiritual woodshed? I'll talk to you about that later. <laughs> yeah. Amen? I just call them attitude adjustments. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I want you to turn to the book of John and chapter 1 and verse 29. John 1, 29. <coughs> and when you get there, just say amen. Amen. John chapter 1, verse 29. And the next day John seeth Jesus coming unto him, and saith, Behold, Take a look. I want you to look. I want you to look at this man here. Not just gaze at it, but behold this man. The Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. Amen? Amen. Once we come to Christ, He took away my sin. Thank you, Jesus. Amen? Yes, Thank he you, did. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, I want you to go down to verse 36. And looking upon Jesus as he walked, he saith, Behold, the Lamb of God. Amen. Two times. It's two times. It's important, people. It's important. Behold, the Lamb of God. And folks, without the Lamb of God, without Him, and I'm telling you right now, if you think you're good enough to get in to the kingdom of God, you're not going to make it. Amen. That's right. And let Amen. Me let me tell you why. One As he one. told a very religious man, Nicodemus, very religious, born again. he said, you must be born again. He said, Lord, well, let me just skip. He said, I think he come to him at night. So I call it Nick at night. That's a little person. <laughs> <laughs> he come to Jesus at night. And he said, how can a man be born again? And this is what he said. And this first word had grabbed me, except a man be born again. He shall not see the kingdom of God. Amen. That word except, no exceptions. That's right. I don't care of how 
good you've been. I don't care how you've been good to your neighbor and, and, like, and you know that's good. But unless you come to Christ, your good works are filthy rags. Amen. Amen. Right. In God's sight, they are filthy rags. And I, count, and I think it's in Isaiah 64. That's not my notes. But they are fil filthy rags. And so the Lamb of God that taketh away the sin of the world. You know what happened to me? One night and three times. He took away my sin. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. What can take away my what can wash away my sin? Nothing, Nothing but, but the, the blood, blood of Jesus. Of Jesus. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Jesus Christ washed us from our sins in his own blood. Isn't that good? Yes. I've had people tell me, you've got a bloody religion. I said, take it up with my Lord and Savior. Yeah. Amen. Without the shedding of blood, there is no remission That's of sins. That's right. That's right. right. So the blood of the Lamb. The blood of the Lamb. In Isaiah 53, it said, He was oppressed and afflicted. <coughs> Let me tell you something. That's an understatement. They had beat Him that so that it says in the Bible, He was so marred, He didn't even look like a man. They had beat him with them cat, cat of nine tails. Smacking him, hit me. Who hit you? Tell me. Tell me who's hit you now. But you know, what has always caught me is up on the cross. They're making fun of him. I thirst. He gave him vinegar. Come on, that's right. Yes. And they said, Forgive them, Lord. They know not what they do. Amen. You know what happened, Lord? 37 years ago. I've never regretted it. And you know what the biggest lie of the devil is? Don't worry, you got tomorrow. Yes. You got tomorrow. Okay, you've heard the sermon, and you've got tomorrow to get right with God. Psalms 27 is we don't know what tomorrow brings. Amen. No, we don't. We may wake up, and the unsaved, and I'm, it's appointed until man wants to die, and after this, the judgment. At that appointment, once you die, you are judged out there, heaven or hell. Mm -hmm. right. That's it. You're judged right there. I am going to meet the Lamb of God that Amen. takes away the sin of the world. I want to meet Him as the Lamb instead of the Lion. Right. Amen. Amen. That's right. Because of the ones <coughs> that are not saved, this is how it is. I'm coming back in flaming fire to take vengeance on them that know not God. Amen. Who can stand under the wrath of God? Nobody. But you know, I've met that God that one night, Brother Chuck. We don't have the promise of leaving here. Right. He only told me, welcome home. Amen. Welcome home. Just like the prodigal son, welcome home. That's yeah. right. And that's I'm home. Amen. It says in Corinthians, I've got a reservation in heaven. That's right. In 2 Thessalonians, I am preserved. Not only a reservation, but I've got a preservation. I am preserved. Anybody ever can preserves? Yeah. You can check it out. You are sealed until the day of redemption. You are sealed until the preacher comes up and he eats and says, I need to break it open. He's hungry. Sealed. Amen, brother. Saved. Sealed. Delivered. I'm his and he's mine. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 And that's how that God of heaven and earth that's how that God works. He forgives us. All the sins are wiped out completely. The Lamb of God that taketh away the sins of the world. I would not go back into this world no way, shape, or form. <laughs> God has been too good to me. He's daily loaded me with benefits. And why would anybody want to go back into this putrefied, 
world. Amen. I want to stand for the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 And just like I preached yesterday, I want to be a good soldier <laughs> of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Yes. I've just turned to 1 Peter 1.19. Now, I'm not really connected to notes. If things come in here, I used to have a photographic memory, but now it's photographic. But let me read you something out of 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 19. And it says, well, let me go to verse 18. For as much as ye know that ye were not redeemed with corruptible things <coughs> as silver and gold, from your vain conversation received by tradition of your fathers, but, listen up, but with the precious blood of Christ. Amen. As of a lamb without blemish and without spot. Amen. Isn't that good? That should put glory bumps all over. Amen. Without blemish and without spot. Amen. That's what it took. Praise the Lord. And when the Lord Jesus Christ, when He come down, he said, I come to seek and to save which was lost. And now he's crucified, and he's gone, and he's ascended back up with the Father. So who, who has he left that up to, Brother Chuck? <coughs> <coughs> Who's he left the ministry to? Who did he lead the ministry to? Uh -huh. Us. Us. We need to be out seeking the save which was lost. Holding signs, lifting up, magnifying the Lord Jesus Christ. And Jesus said, if I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto Amen. myself. Amen. So if we lift him up and magnify him, I am going to guarantee you. Amen. I'm going to guarantee you, your neighbor, your lost neighbor is going to come over and say, you know, I'm in trouble. What about this Jesus? Amen. Let your light so shine, right? Amen. If you've got light. And some of us. And I'd had to, I was telling the Lucases here, and I'll tell you what, they have treated me good. And the KP officer, <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> it was, you know, oh, <coughs> I gotta do some temple maintenance. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> the Lord Jesus Christ. Once we come to Him, once we say, okay, Lord, I believe. You're written down in the Lamb's Book of Life. Mm -hmm. Folks, that's called sudden salvation. That's not coming into and saying, well, down the road, now you're going to be saved. No, you're saved now. Amen. Mm -hmm. Thank you, dude. Amen. Amen. You're written down in that Lamb's Book of Life, and this is, well, you know, brother, you can be blotted out. No. It says, how many overcomers have we got here? You've overcome the world. Amen? By Jesus Christ. Right. <clears throat> You've overcome the world. Jesus said, he that overcometh, I will reign him in white, and I will not blot out his name. Mm -hmm. We can't be blotted out. Amen. We can't be blotted out. Folks. We are saved and sealed until the day of redemption. And that's the type of God that we serve. And they said, well, you know, uh, yeah, you can lose it. And, and you know, you once saved, always saved Baptist. You can go out and sin and you can do anything you want. And no, you can't. No. no, you can't, because you know why? Because now your new father will take you to a spiritual woodshed. Amen. Amen. That's right. So you're not going to because he's your father now. <clears throat> way of a transgression is hard. That's a, amen. And I have used that one. And I want to tell you, once you're a father, once you come, now listen, we need to fear God. Amen? The fear of God is the beginning of, I've had Christians ask me, why should I fear God? I said, well, he can cast you into hell. That should be one. And number two, it's the beginning of wisdom. Yeah. Just the beginning. Yeah. I said, yes, we should fear God. Your dad, you loved your dad, right? Your dad told you, hey, listen, you better have that lawn mowed by the time I get home. <laughs> now, you loved your dad, but you feared your dad because that lawn wasn't <laughs> weed-heated. 
I know what I was going to get. But you know what? I taught the weeping willow how to cry. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> no, I was never in any trouble. <laughs> A spotless lamb. Folks, I want to tell you, and I'm going to turn back here. The spotless lamb of God that taketh away the sin of the world. Amen? Amen. Now let me show you in verse 5. You have a lamb, the lamb, but five is your lamb. That's what it says. It's a, the, and now it's your. See, he's, he's probably going to of God. Amen? Amen? Your lamb shall be without blemish. A male of the first year, ye shall take it out from the sheep and from the goats. And ye shall keep it up in the fourteenth day of the same month, the whole assembly, of the congregation of Israel shall kill in the evening, and they shall take the blood and strike it on the uh, side post and on the upper door, the post of the house, wherein they shall eat it. And they shall eat the flesh at night, roast with fire, and unleavened bread, and with bitter herbs they shall eat it, and eat not of it raw that were sodden or with water, but roast with fire, his head and his legs and the puriturants thereof, and ye shall let nothing of it remain until the morning, and which remaineth of it until the morning ye shall burn with fire. And thus ye shall eat it, and with the loins girded with the, the shoes that are on your feet, and the staff within your hand. Let me ask you this evening. I've told you about a lamb. Amen. John the Baptist said, Behold, the Lamb of God. But let me ask you tonight. It's very important because eternity is at stake. Right. Is he just a lamb to you? Is he the lamb of the John the Baptist, what you've read in the Bible, you've heard, or is he your lamb? Amen. Amen. He should be your lamb. How Amen. Do you do that? How do you do that, preacher? Listen. You call upon the name of the Lord. Amen. John 3.16 is the most basic. For God so loved the world, He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth should not perish, but have everlasting life. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. We have everlasting life. If this robe of flesh will drop, ladies and gentlemen, listen, I'm going to be in heaven. That's right. Any good thing that I've done? Absolutely not. I depended upon God's Son. Right. Amen. Once I depended upon God's Son, my sins are forgiven, forgotten forever, and I'm telling you, God does not lie. Amen. Amen. It's a mutability of God. He cannot lie. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen. And so when he says that, and when you come to the Lord Jesus Christ, and when you accept him, and when you believe and receive the Lord Jesus Christ, your sins are blotted out. That's right. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Praise God. Yes, amen. What about the cost of going on? <laughs> See, folks, once we get saved, we should be excited. Amen. Amen? Amen. Excited. This is why I'm out on the streets. I'm, I'm 37 years later, I am more excited about Jesus when I first got saved because now I know more. Amen. That's right. <coughs> well, preacher, you're one of those Baptist fanatics. Guilty as charged. <laughs> yeah. I love Jesus. Amen. He's my first love, always has been. Oh, Believe me, folks, I have been through some trial and troubles and troubling times. And Satan has come against me, and I'm telling you, I'm not going to get into it, but let me tell you, I thought about quitting. No. 
I did. I thought about Satan had sent his messengers, and believe me, guys, I'm telling you, but you know what? You know what kept me on the straight and narrow? You know what kept me from just laying down and giving them on the pew? And I says, no more. He's my first wife. Amen. Amen. I've never left my first wife. Yeah. But now, if you're here and you're not saved, you need to come Amen. to your first love. Amen. Yes. Let me ask you, just bow your heads just for a minute, if you would please. And how many would say here, the preacher, I'm not saved, pray for me. I want to be saved. Anybody here? Anybody? Preacher, I want to be saved. I want to be in the family of God. Anybody here? God knows your heart. How many say you're a preacher? I'm saved, I'm redeemed, I'm accepted in the beloved. I'm born again. I'm written down in the Lamb's book of life. 